Welcome back to my series on how to use shortcuts as a content creator on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a shortcut that allows you to download icons directly from the App Store rather than downloading them from Google. I have two other versions of this shortcut, but this version is going to give your icon image the classic rounded corners that all Apple icons have. Tap on the plus sign to create a brand new empty shortcut. Tap on add action and search for comment. The comment action is just a text box that will only appear inside the shortcut editor. If you're going to share your shortcuts with the online community, you might use a comment at the top of the shortcut telling users what your shortcut will do and how to use it. Tap on done. In the next action suggestions, you can see that text is available. Tap text. I'll paste the text in there one more time. The reason I use a text box is because it allows me to format text easier than trying to put it into a prompt. Tap on done. The first thing you'll need to do is ask for input. The ask for input action asks the user to provide some input. In this shortcut, I need an app name. So where it says prompt, You can tap on text. If you tap on the blue arrow of any ask for input text box, you can provide a default answer that you can use to populate the text box as you build your shortcut so you don't have to enter in information every time you run it. I'm going to enter an app name, notes. Then I'll tap done. Tap on the play icon here to run your shortcut. You get an input prompt with instructions on what the shortcut will do and how to use it. And the text box is populated automatically with notes. If I tap on done, nothing happens. I'm going to create a variable containing the app name. Find App Store Apps searches the App Store for any apps that match the input. Once you've added this action, tap where it says apps, and you can either choose provided input or app name. I'm going to choose app name. Then I'll tap on done. I'll run the shortcut one more time. Tap on done. And we've got the notes app, but you can see that it's showing 25 results that match the search term I entered. Choose from list will let you see each one of the results that is returned without you having to scroll through them. Here's the list of apps. It contains all 25 results that match the search term I entered. Notes is the one that we want. If you tap the blue arrow on the list action, you can add your own prompt.
You can also select multiple items, but in this case, I'm just looking for one app, so I'm going to leave that turned off, and I'll tap on Done. Tap Done. Choose from the list. In the next action suggestions area, you can see that there's an action that says get details of App Store app. So I'll just tap on it. If you tap on detail, there's actually a detail called artwork, which returns the image used for the app icon in the App Store. It looks like nothing happened, but if you scroll down to the bottom of the shortcut, this is the app icon for the Notes app. I chose this one specifically because you can see that the edges are square. The mask image action will change the shape of the app icon and give it the rounded corners that all Apple icons have. Tap where it says rounded rectangle. One of the choices you have is icon. Make sure your action says mask artwork with icon shape. Tap done. Select your app notes. And you can see that the icon that was square now has the classic rounded corners. You have to save the final image. Since the app artwork is a photo, you can save it to the Recents Photo Album on your phone. And that way, you don't have to download it from iCloud Drive. And I'm going to add one more action so that we can take a look at the photo inside the Photos app once it has been saved. Tap where it says app, and you can search for an app here. Make sure you select photos. Run the shortcut one more time. Tap done. Select your app. And if you go back into the album view, there's the notes icon downloaded from the App Store with rounded corners. I'm going to open CapCut. I'm going to open this project. Now if I tap Add Overlay, then Add Overlay once more, and I'll select Photos and select this photo here. I'll shrink it down. Then I'll take a screenshot and crop it. And save it to photos. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.